what are the details regarding the attack in central Paris in November 2015? In Paris on November 13, three teams launched seven distinct attacks comprising four suicide bombings and six shootings. Three bombs in National Sports Stadium of the France, the Stade de France and another one in Boulevard Voltaire. The shootings took place in the vicinity of Rue Alibert, the Rue de la Fontaine Auroy, the Rue de Charon, the Bataclan Theatre and Avenue de la République. In Stade de France, three explosions happened in which a friendly match between France and Germany was taking place. President François Hollande was attending. The first bomber was turned away as a guard discovered the suicide vest on patting him. He detonated it a few seconds later, killing a bystander. The second bomber blew himself up near the stadium 10 minutes later. Another 33 minutes after that, the third bomber detonated his vest nearby at a McDonald's. President Hollow was evacuated at halftime. Although both football coaches were informed by French officials of a developing crisis, the players and fans were not. They were brought onto the pitch at the finish of the game to await evacuation. The German national football team was advised not to return to their hotel. The French team stayed with them in a display of camaraderie. France was due to host the UEFA Euro 2016 tournament. In the Bataclan Theatre, the American rock and roll band Eagles of Death Metal was playing to an audience of around 1500. About an hour into the concert, three dark clad men with AK-47 assault rifles entered the hall. Witnesses heard shouts of Allahu Akbar just before the gunman opened fire on the crowd. Initially, the audience mistook the gunfire for pyrotechnics. They also threw hand grenades into the ground. The attackers then took 60 to 100 concert goers as hostages as police gathered outside. The band's members escaped without injury. The police launched an assault on the theater after reports that the attackers had begun killing the hostages. The death toll, although estimated to be 100, were later revised to 89 people. Two attackers died detonating their suicide vest. Another was hit by the police gunfire and his vest blew up when he fell. The area was cordoned off after the attack. At approximately 21.20, first shootings occurred at the Robisha and Rue Alibert. Attackers shot at people outside Le Carillon, a cafe and bar, before crossing the Rue Bisha and shooting people inside the restaurant Le Petit Cambodge. Doctors and nurses from nearby hospital St. Louis were in Le Carillon when attacks happened and supplied emergency assistance to the wounded. The assailants fled in one or two cars after the shooting. Eleven people were killed at the restaurant. At 21.32, a man with a machine gun fired shots outside Café Bon Biere at Rue de la Fontaine Auroy. Five people were killed and eight injured. At approximately 21.36, two attackers fired shots at the outdoor terrace of restaurant La Belle Equipe on Rue de Charon before returning to their car and driving away. 19 people were killed and 9 in critical condition. In Boulevard Voltaire, at about 21.40, an attacker sat down in Comte Voltaire Café and placed an order before detonating his suicide vest and killing himself. 15 people were injured, one seriously. ISIL is said to have organized the attacks with the help from inside France. French and Belgian services focused on radical jihadist Abdel Hamid Abaoud a Belgian of Moroccan origin. Abaud had developed an extensive network of accomplices including Ibrahim and Salah Abdeslam to execute the terrorist attacks. He was killed on 18 November 2015 in a major police operation in a suburb of the city. 129 victims of the attack died and 433 were injured. Victims were confirmed from at least 26 countries. This included Muslims like Hauda Saadi and Jamila Hau, whose father fought with the French army during the Algerian war and several others. Meanwhile, many heads of states and government as well as UN offered messages of condolences and solidarity in the wake of the attack. Muslim heads of state, scholars, leaders and groups condemned the attack, many before ISIL even claimed responsibility including the Imam and head of Islam's highest place of theological learning, the University of Al-Azhar in Egypt, the Supreme Council of Religious Scholars in Saudi Arabia. Citizens of France have displayed immense courage and support to everyone without discrimination, disappointing the attackers.